Hey everyone and welcome back and also happy Memorial Day weekend to uh, those of you here in the States. And I uh, definitely want to uh, get to a couple things. Obviously, probably the big thing uh, would be the uh, Renegade Syndrome. You know, the rest of the announcements, you know, a, lot, a couple of those titles were announced um, for the May titles were announced back in March. Was it March? I think it was March because you could pre-order a couple of them, but then some of them they did not announce until this weekend, but they have announced them. So I'm going to cover those in just a second, but I do want to mention uh, two things real quick. Uh, two, maybe three, whatever. I'm just going to get right to them. So first up, I actually do want to mention something uh, that just got announced coming from NECA later this year. I think it's maybe roughly estimated for November. Uh, now I've had to very much kind of back away for the most part on a lot of NECA stuff. You know, it's just like, I think it was like, you know, it gets to the point where I'm like, I have no room to put stuff. So definitely I uh, had to back off, but every so often there is something that comes along that it's just like, yeah, I kind of really want that. And this is definitely one of them. And they have announced another uh, release coming for an American werewolf in London. And that is indeed a two pack. It's a David and Jack two pack. And hopefully by the time I'm editing this video, I found some decent pictures for you to see. And the uh, great thing about this, of course, you know, they released the uh, Kessler Wolf, um, geez, was that two years ago? I think it was like two years ago. And of course they released the Dream Demon that you could swap out all the different heads. So, you know, you'd, you'd have to buy multiple of them, but you know, you can, if you wanted to, you could recreate the Dream Demons, you know, if you wanted to. But obviously the big one was missing uh, David and Jack. So really looking forward to adding these to go with my Kessler uh, Wolf that I believe, I think I just, I had just enough space on my shelf, you know, uh, for, uh, to fit these two. And I like that you have the option to do um, either early movie Jack or, uh, yeah, you know, later in the movie Jack. Now it is kind of pricey. I think, I think it retails for $84.99, $79.99 or $84.99. I'm not 100% sure while I'm recording this. Definitely pricey. Again, probably one of the few NECA stuff I'm, I'm going to get anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's American Wolf in London, so I'm going to... There's a good chance I'm going to grab it later this year. Anyway, wanted to mention that uh, for those of you who are also interested. And then uh, next up, I do have... Uh, there have been two um, Scream Factory website exclusive announcements. Now, obviously, with their website exclusives, I mean, obviously, you can only buy them through the uh, Shout Factory website. And, uh, of course, they only ship to the U.S. and Canada, unfortunately, for those of you outside of uh, the U.S. and Canada. Just a heads up, they are going to be region A locked, again, for those of you outside of the U.S. and Canada. Um, the first one is the movie Darkness. That one is limited to 1,800 units, um, and it's the price is $29.98. does have two versions of the film, uh, the original theatrical version as well as an unrated cut which is interesting because the theatrical release was actually PG-13. So I think this is probably more like an R-rated cut. And uh, let's see, it'll be in 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo. We'll have a darkness illuminated behind the scenes of darkness as well as a theatrical trailer. Uh, and again, this is an exclusive, which means it's also up for order right now. And the other exclusive, which uh, I don't know if this is technically Scream Factory or Shout factory i mean it's the same thing and i'm just saying you know for the title on the side i'm not 100 percent sure but it's the movie fear city um the uh abel ferrara film from what year was this 1984 uh blu-ray limited to uh 1620 uh, units 1620 units retails uh, retails Price is $29.98. And this one will actually also have two versions of the film. It'll have uh, the original theatrical cut as well as also an unrated cut. And it does have a new 2K scan of the 35 millimeter inner positive for both versions of the film. And both cuts do have a 2.0 stereo track. Now, Fear City, they have released um, a long time ago and it's been out of print for a long time. And I think copies of that can be quite expensive on the secondary market. So it's not, even though it's a website exclusive, it is still nice that it is getting back out there. And also with a new transfer. So uh, that's, I, that's one I missed out before. So I'm probably picked that one up at some point. And now we move over to the Vinegar Syndrome uh, stuff, which uh, obviously like, like several companies this weekend, they are having a sale that they do every Memorial Day, um, which, you know, bulk of their stuff on their site, I believe is 50% uh, off, not everything, but a good chunk of it. And obviously they have now finally announced a couple of new titles and also the secret titles that were hinted at back in, again, I think March, have now been revealed. So 
let's just get to so uh, previously announced let me just kind of get through those real quick uh the cinematograph one dangerous game um actually another abel ferrara film right if i'm not mistaken for 34.99 the uh box set the homegrown horrors volume 3 box set for 59.99 the china the 4k of china o'brien uh one and two for 44.99 and of course the vinegar syndrome ultra uh release of navy seals for 44.99 those are the ones that were previous announced and now we get to the new one so we have a new one for their the gauzer video Video line. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, actually. Um, and it's, I, I think the majority of it is like shot on video uh, releases. Cause I think, wasn't the first one I think was Redneck Zombies. And this one is The Ripper from 1985 starring Tom Savini, actually. And it has a region-free Blu-ray release, newly transferred and restored from the best quality archival tape master. Cause again, these were shot on video. Presented with the following sound options, an original 2.0 stereo track, a new commentary track with producer Linda Lewis, an author film historian John Woolley, plus an archival commentary track with director Christopher Lewis and composer Rod Slane. Also, Tom Savini rips on The Ripper, an interview with actor Tom Savini, trading out an interview with producer Linda Lewis, it's all an act, an interview with actress Andrea Delis Dernier, formerly Andrea Adams, on a knife edge, an interview with Bob Blair, VCI president and son of executive producer Bill F. Blair, a fire music video, an original trailer, an original video promo. And that is up for sale uh, for $27.99. And if you really want to relive the video days, you can actually get, I, they may be, I think they're still in stock, but you can actually get a limited edition uh, VHS of the Ripper with an LED light up. I think his eyes light up on the front of the cover and that costs $50, a flat 50. And it's basically a VHS copy of the film and obviously a very special packaging. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as of this recording, they do have some left. I can't promise that by the time this video goes live, unfortunately. But just in case it still is, uh, if you're interested, you go over there right away and get it at the Vinegar Syndrome website. Okay, now we move on to, let's see, they have two new Vinegar Syndrome archive lines, uh, both Blu-ray releases. First up, oh, I take it back. No, one of these is one of these is at least a 4K, and the other one's not a 4K, is it? Sorry, this first one is a 4K, I think it comes with a Blu-ray, but it's a 4K release. I'm jumping around too much. 4K release, the included Blu-ray will be region locked, though just a heads up on that. Luckily, 4K region free. And that is the Johnny Toe film, A Lifeline, Hong Kong film from 1997. Like I said, it's gonna be a two disc set, so 4K and a Blu-ray. It's got a new uh, 4K transfer from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. It'll have Cantonese uh, mono theatrical soundtrack with newly translated English subtitles, as well as a Cantonese stereo home video remix soundtrack plus Mandarin language dub track and a commentary track with martial arts film expert Frank Jang, a brand new interview with director Johnny Toe, brand new interview with special effects artist Chi Shu Tin, Johnny Toe in the 1990s, a video essay by film historian Sam Deegan, an archival making of documentary, an archival interview with director Johnny Toe, archival interview with actress Ruby Wong, an archival interview with actor Raymond Yoyin Wong, as well as the original trailer. And that is up for $34.99, because again, that is a 4K release. And then the other uh, video, Vinegar Syndrome, Archive 1 for $29.99. This is a Blu-ray. This is a region-free Blu-ray from 1981. It's the movie The Instructor, which actually looks like could be a lot of fun. Uh, it's newly scanned and restored in 4K from a 35 millimeter archival print. Commentary track with the writer-director Don Bendel. A Journey to Akron, the making of The Instructor, an interview with writer-director John Bendel, plus a booklet and a double-sided uh, poster. And this one just looks like it's, I think it's one of those lower budget uh martial arts films again what year was it again 1981 so but honestly usually whatever they lack in budget they usually make up in just being a lot of fun so i haven't seen it i mean if you've seen it uh i did actually get an order in for this one already and then we get to the two uh, actual vinegar syndrome releases uh the two secret ones that have now been revealed it's one is a double feature blu-ray release and then the other one is a new 4k release so first up is a region free blu-ray release uh double feature 
of the movies Criminally Insane and Satan's Black Wedding. I believe they're both from 1974. Yeah, both have been newly scanned from the original uh, 16 millimeter camera reversal uh, prints. Criminally Insane is presented in its original 1.37 to one aspect ratio with the following sound options. Original English mono soundtrack with a brand new commentary track by film historians Millie DeCherry. Chirico and Liz Purcell in an archival commentary track with director Nick Millard and Ermi Millard moderated by 42nd Street Pete. Then on Satan's Black Wedding, uh, it's presented in its original 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio. It's original English mono track with a brand new commentary track by Brian Albright, author of original horror films 1958 to 1990. Plus an archival commentary track with director Nick Millard and Ermi Millard, moderated by 42nd Street Pete. And also it has Remains to be Seen, a featurette produced by Vinegar Syndrome, a film archive on preserving the films of director Nick Millard. Right out of left field, author Stephen Thrower on Cr uh, Criminally Insane, Satan's Black Wedding, and the early filmography of Nick Millard. An archival video interview with writer-director Nick Millard on Criminally Insane. An archival featurette with writer-director Nick Millard and actress Priscilla Alden on Criminally Insane. An archival video interview with writer-director Nick Millard and Satan's Black Wedding, as well as original trailers for both films. So this is, I, I'm trying to see, I don't think, have I, I don't think I've seen Satan's Black Wedding. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Criminally Insane. I kind of, I'd have to look it up, but I, I'm, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I really actually remember the uh vhs cover as a kid in the video store if it's the one i'm thinking of and i'm pretty sure it is if it is I'm, hopefully i'm showing a picture of it somewhere around here and then finally the other secret title is a 4k release of the chuck norris film invasion usa directed by joseph zito uh priced at 37.99 Oh, sorry. I don't think I mentioned Criminally Insane, Satan's Black Wedding Double Feature Disc, uh, $29.99. I don't think I said that. Invasion USA, $4K, $37.99. And this is a fun film. Obviously, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, got a group of bad people trying to get come into the United States and cause trouble. And of course, Chuck Norris is our hero. Perfect one uh, to actually watch during the 4th of July weekend. So um, hopefully uh, if you've ordered it like I have, that uh, we'll have it in time for 4th of July weekend. If you've never seen it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely one of the Chuck Norris films that I really enjoy. And obviously because it's directed by Joseph Zito, who uh, also directed Chuck Norris in the first Missing in Action film. Horror fans, uh, like I said, will probably know mo uh, the best because he directed uh, The Prowler and especially Friday 13th, the final chapter. Now, this will be a two disc set of 4K and a Blu-ray, and the include Blu-ray will be region A locked. Just a heads up on that. It does have a new 4K transfer from the 35 millimeter camera negative. It will be in 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo. A new commentary track with director Joseph Zito, plus a brand new commentary track with Austin Trudick, author of the Canon Film Guide, and an archival commentary track with director Joseph Zito and Michael Felcher, plus Operation Invasion USA, an interview with director Joseph Zito, Writing the Real Thing, an interview with screenwriter James Bruner, The Stories We're Telling, an interview with editor Dan Lowenthal, Heroic Moments, an interview with composer Jay Chataway, It's in the Eyes, an interview with actress Melissa Prophet, Do You Like Talking, an interview with actor James Pax, Candid Carnage, an archival featurette on the, make on the makeup effects of Invasion USA, plus Loose Cannons, an archival interview with screenwriter James Bruner, as well as the original trailer. Now, this is definitely one of those ones that I'm kind of happy are <laughs> getting re-released. It's actually, you know, obviously it's part of the canon films. I really hope a lot of other canon films can also get uh, new releases because just, a lot of them got decent Blu-ray releases a long time ago, but several of them have been out of print for a while. Also still gonna hope that maybe Vinegar Syndrome can eventually do a 4K release of Death Wish 3, maybe? One of these years. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for the Vinegar Syndrome titles. Um, and obviously they're all up for uh, order right now. I think um, for those of you who don't know, um, after in June, they don't have any new titles for June. They'll have new partner labels in June, but they won't have any new actual Vinegar Syndrome titles in June because they usually spe spend the month trying to get all the orders shipped out. But they do have their sale going on this weekend, so obviously there's some older titles you want to uh, get at a very good price. Uh, I think their sale runs on 
through, I think, Monday night, if I'm not mistaken. And obviously, being at Memorial Day weekend, there's a lot of sale. Uh, you know, just check all the different sites. You know, I think everyone's having a sale this weekend, including a lot of the t-shirt companies. I know, like, Fright Rags has a sale going on, Gutter Garbs, Terror Threads. You know, they all have sales going on this weekend. Diabolic DVD, I know, is going to have a sale, but not till next week. I think their sale starts on the 27th. So I'm gonna be interested to see what's in their sale. And I do just wanna wrap up this video just real quick because it is Memorial Day weekend, which here uh, in the States is obviously uh, the uh, weekend that we, you know, the main reason is to obviously honor the fallen and coming from your family who has had people in the military. Um, you know, obviously it's special for a lot of us. You know, it's, a, it's definitely a uh, time of remembrance. And on a different note as well, I just wanna mention real quick, I'm actually wearing for the first time since I got it in, the uh, Fright Rags uh, Dawn of the Dead shirt, which is a recreation of the crew shirt for Dawn of the Dead. Now, for the longest time, Dawn of the Dead was um, pretty much thought of as uh, to come out around May 24th. And for the most part, a lot of us, that's when we celebrated it a couple years ago. Or, you know, some people claimed it was in April. Maybe it was. Uh, for me, I just think of it as May 24th. That's really when I celebrate Dawn of the Dead. So at some point of the weekend, I definitely will be watching it. And also on a much more personal note, um, several years ago, I, I want to say it might have been like the year before Living Dead Weekend existed because it didn't exist yet. Some friends of mine and I uh, went to Pittsburgh to uh, Memorial Day weekend to spend the weekend going around visiting a bunch of different George Romero filming sites. Obviously, the main one being the Monroeville Mall. Um, as well as Evan City Cemetery, you know, Night of the Living Dead, and um, other locations from Dawn of the Dead, a couple from Creepshow. So that is very meaningful to me uh, around this time, every single year, even more so now. Uh, for those of you who've been around for a while, um, you'll know that a few years ago, uh, one of my very close friends, Nikki, passed away. And of course, she was with us during that weekend. So Every year, you know, when I get the memories of that weekend, it's obviously very bittersweet, you know, because it was such a fun and amazing weekend on so many different levels. And of course, you know, my memories with Nikki, um, especially. Anyway, I don't want to end this on a somber note. It's actually, I mean, yes, it's somber, but it's, it's also a good thing. So I did want to mention that. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts on these. If you're taking advantage of any of the sales going on this weekend, again, happy Memorial Day. Uh, for everyone out there. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.